I know we took a week off and I wasn't here and I'm back. I'm out um, visiting our friends at Huckleberry Hill Farms from a socially distanced safe space. I'm here touring the farm outside and they so graciously allowed me to hang out outside socially distanced. Um, just want to be clear, everybody knows that we are being safe. Um, and I'm here at Huckleberry Hill Farms in Humboldt, California. And this is the sweet Marlene here. And today I'm going to be joined by our dear friend, Fred Warner from Southern Charm Organics in Colorado. So while I'm in California, I'm going to be talking to Fred, who's in Colorado, and Gunnison, in Colorado to be exact. Let's see if Fred is here and ready to join us. He's not. As soon as he gets here though, we'll be going live with him. In the meantime, I am gonna let you guys know that my dear, dear friends, Rose and Johnny, you may have seen them on the first episode of our Instagram Live, um, left me some amazing sweet Marlene. Sweet Marlene from here in California. And this is sweet Marlene behind me. Doesn't she look amazing? She looks amazing. Oh, Southern Charm, you're here. I can't wait for you to join me. I will add you. Oh. Fred, let me know when you're here. I can't wait to see you. All right. Hi. I'm How cool. I'm doing well. How are you? Great. So good to see you. I was just telling everyone, um, I'm in Humboldt, California at Huckleberry Hill Farms visiting, well, not visiting my friends, but visiting the farm outside from a socially distanced, safe uh, space. Um, and this is the sweet Marlene behind me. She's Hi, joining, she's a beauty. Joining, isn't she beautiful? Oh, the beautiful plants here. It's out. It's just outrageous. You wouldn't believe it. And they also gave me some sweet Marlene to smoke. So we'll be smoking that. Um, All right. It's just so wonderful. I can't wait. How are you? How's it going? How? I'm so everything glad you're is here. everything is everything is good. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Right. Um. So I'm gonna roll two joints before I smoke two joints. And I'm gonna roll two joints with you, Fred, from Southern Charm Organics. Um, and we're gonna talk a little bit about what you've got going on down there. I was just sharing with everybody a little bit about the excitement I have that you're gonna be here. Um, and I've got, I've got eight minutes before it's 420. So I'm gonna start rolling up. But you know, I first met you, Fred, when we launched in 2016 in Colorado. And it's- That's it's right, been I think in the- but and it's been nothing but an adventure together since. Um, I, we've seen each other backstage. We've seen each other on tour buses. We see each other in cannabis. Um, and now we get to see each other in Instagram Live, thanks to yeah, for sure. uh, our friend COVID-19, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll take what we could get, I guess. Yeah, yeah I, I love it. We, I think we met at the launch uh, concert, actually. That was the first time uh, I met you, so. It was awesome. right at the beginning. It was awesome. It was, yeah. We launched with a, a Willie Nelson concert in Colorado. It was so great. That's um, right. That's and, right. I, and now here we are. That's <laughs> doing something Look else. how far we've come. <laughs> I know. At least we're still rolling joints, right? Thank goodness. So I know, Fred, um, you come from a long line of farmers. Tell us a little bit about yourself and just give us a little bit of your history because that's one of my favorite things and I won't spoil it for everyone, but it is All one right of my on. favorite things about uh, Southern Charm Organics is that there's this really amazing small farmer's story. So if you would share a little bit about that, we'd love to hear about for that. For sure, for sure. So uh, I grew up in a farming family and uh, extended family and immediate family. So uh, in a farming community in the South. So I definitely have... Uh, been around small farms, obviously not cannabis farms up until lately, but uh, definitely been involved in farming. And uh, when I was out here, the opportunity arose and myself, uh, a few friends and family members kind of pulled money together, invested, and uh, were able to uh, 
get enough together to get a, a small farm started. Yeah. We, uh, we have just been uh, reinvesting into ourselves ever since, and we're still, I, I dare to say, one of the smallest in the, in the state, perhaps, but uh, we, we have plans. So, uh, Great. you know, things, so, things are so good, what, and we're enjoying it. Yeah, so when you went from Al Alabama, is that where you're from? That, that's correct. When you went from Alabama to the Colorado farming market, sounds like the uh, fruit might have changed a little bit. What, uh, were, you most, guys, <laughs> what were you guys most starting definitely. down in Alabama? Where would you set your roots in? So mostly uh, my father grew fruits and vegetables, so that's what I grew up farming. Um, oh. Some of my extended family are big into the, the sod industry and uh, – row cropping grains and whatnot so uh definitely i've seen it all and uh been exposed to a lot of it and know know the plight of small farms for sure yeah so what would you say um how are the plights of colorado cannabis farming right now similar to some of the stuff you've seen then like what is one thing that you're like i can handle this i've seen this before or like maybe called some family well, and was like hey Kind of similar. What do we do? Right. Yeah. That's a good question. Uh, I don't know as far as like any of them that helped. Uh, I mean, everything helped solve all the problems that happened. I can't really put my yeah. finger on one, but something I do see happening that you guys actually play a, a, a role in helping to maybe not happen is just, uh, you know, the same thing that happened in, in small farms is a lot get bought up or can't mm -hmm. make it as small farms and the industry turns into uh, a lot fewer players, but hold right. they hold a lot bigger hands. So, uh, it's like that you know, luckily enough, and, and contracting kind of. Totally, yeah. totally, yeah. and uh, you know, I mean, I've seen it uh, throughout my life. Whenever uh, farmland becomes more valuable than the crops that they're growing, people sell their small farms, and and then they're gone forever. And that uh, that's a real bummer. And you know, we we've been lucky enough here at Southern Charm to link up with you guys and that's really helped us to uh, to continue to be a small farmer and, and not have a lot of the, the stresses that I know a lot of these small guys have right now when you first get in the industry. Well, and what we love about working with you is the, the array of genetics you've got. I mean, no, nothing says Willie's Reserve like some redheaded stranger. If you guys have not smoked Fred's redheaded stranger, I smoked it uh, Actually, it's so funny. I smoked your red-headed stranger when I chatted with Johnny and Rose from Huckleberry Hill Farms, where I'm sitting, and now I'm smoking their weed, talking to you. So, While you're chatting with me. Yeah, that's so great. Comes full circle, right? That's the circle has come all the way about. around. Yes. Now I'll just have to. minutes to roll this joint. All right, all right. Well, while you're finishing that, I'm going to flip it around, and since yeah. you mentioned red-headed stranger, we'll cruise into the flower room in a second, but... Uh, while we're in here, this is just our bedroom. So this is, uh, we've kind of just, you know, got some little guys that we just cut today. Aw, babes. And then the next step of little guys. So that's one of the biggest things um, I had to learn was just the scheduling of everything. And uh, yeah. empty rooms don't make money, so everything has to be really be planned out. <laughs> so that was, a, that was a learning curve, and I think, you know, we've... Uh, We've we've come a long way. We have a long way to go, but we're definitely getting there. Yeah, and then we've got over beautiful. here a few moms in the back that we just really hacked up today. Okay. And then all these guys on the floor, we're going in next, and that is some Pineapple Express, uh, Tangy Power on the end. There's some redheaded stranger here in the middle. Oh, look at us. Uh... And then some green crack hanging on down here, or green caffeine, excuse me. Green caffeine. <laughs> had, had to make that change here lately. All right, we'll cruise over and uh, look at some redheaded strangers a little closer to done. Yay! I can't wait to see them. So, you know, I can't help but notice, Fred, you're growing some traditionally very classic strains, like I mentioned. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I love the Tropicana cookies and all of the terpies and the lemons and all of the flavors that we're seeing now on the market. The straw nanas, 
the cherry pies, all the stuff, right? But I'm, I can't right, help for sure. but like still love the classics. Um, what keeps it? What keeps the classics as like the way to go for you? Um, what makes oh. it so that you're like this is what this is what we're gonna do? Oh, it's 4:20. All right, get going. Cheers, dude. Uh, yeah, cheers. I, I think there's a few reasons uh, just to answer that question. Uh, one, I, myself, and uh, most of the other people involved are all classic classic type smokers. So those are the strains that we've always enjoyed. And, uh, Grow what you and love, I, I right? would, right, totally. And I, I'd put them up against most anything if they're grown well. So, you know, there's. I think there's just a lot of levels of good. It doesn't have to be new to be good. So we, we definitely like those strains, but also, um, you know, we're, because we're so small, we don't have a lot of room for error as far as growing things that people want. So of course. we yeah, know, smart. you know, there was a market for those things. And as long as we can produce them in a high quality way, we, uh, we don't have any problems getting rid of those classic strains. So. Well, and so far, it's working right now in Colorado. Stuff is selling Most definitely, gangbusters. people are buying weed like crazy. If you guys don't know, people in Colorado are buying weed like crazy right now. Um, <laughs> That's it. Colorado's never seen weed move so fast. Hasn't seen weed move this fast in a minute. That's for sure. That, that's that's for sure. I hear uh, all the time. Um, you know, people are having a hard time finding finding. Weed in general, especially quality weed, but definitely yeah. uh, the inventory uh, is slim out there. And so we'll see how that goes. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't come around next summer and we're in the opposite boat. <laughs> it's uh, too flooded, and we can't move any, move all our product and everything. You know, but, every summer is a little bit different. You know, and I'm I'm grateful for the summer we've had. Right? Let's, for sure. Let's, uh, we've we've counted our blessings every day. 2020's been uh, a cr a wild ride, so I'll take the the weed, right? Like, what do we that's, got to lose? That's for sure. <laughs> we uh, we're blessed that this industry has been able to uh, to continue so, through all this. And yeah. We don't lose sight of that. It's definitely uh, we're very blessed to be in it and just uh, hoping to hold on and, and keep going forward. While you spark that up, I'll spin around and show a few of those so here's a a look of the whole room and like i said we're very small this is one of our two flower rooms so we're uh we're only flowering 24 total lights right now so we're able wow. to focus on quality which is which is great yeah. we're able to really give everything a very good care so these are all redheaded stranger and uh we just started week seven today actually so these guys have another three weeks roughly two and a half weeks to go wow they look great they're stacking beautifully well thank you yes it's uh we're really fond of that strain that was another uh fortunate thing that happened we uh <laughs> we knew we wanted it for for obvious reasons and it just so ended up it was a it was a great strain to grow so we're happy I think, here's it's pretty, a, I think it's pretty serendipitous, you know? <laughs> I, I would agree. That is, uh, <laughs> that's the moral to our story. It's a pretty wild one for sure. I love that. And these are, uh, these are green cracks, so a lot smaller, much more squatty plants. Oh, I, kind I, I, I of wish maybe. I could see, I wish I could see the terps. That green crack is such a fruity, delicious smell. Or green It cabbage. is. Whatever we're... We need some, uh, yeah, green caffeine, I'm sorry. We need some scratch and sniff going on. And this is actually another uh, old school classic. This is a Larry OG. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, there it is. Ooh. So this is a Larry OG, which we don't flower very often, but we, uh, we have some in this batch. Beautiful. I'll give a close up to the... And here's those red-headed strangers that you love so much. Oh, and they are yeah. just, uh, does really as you know, they so really make beautiful. some beautiful colors. Yeah. Looks so great. Wow. All right. Am I still here? Okay. You're still here. I know. So 
just so our audience knows, sometimes these uh, fans and lights that you guys can kind of see in the grow can make it a little bit hard for Fred to hear. So there might be some missteps, but I'm thanks for being here, Fred, and working with all the noise and chatting with oh, us. Oh, for anyway. sure. I would say most of it is my uh, technical skills more than anything. So uh, <laughs> luckily okay. we, we got through that. <laughs> Your technical skills fall in all the right places, which means we get to smoke your great weed. So it's all right if Instagram right, Live isn't, isn't your uh, forte. That's not my forte. I'll take that. <laughs> it's no problem. And we'll uh, we'll have to be quiet. These guys are sleeping, but we'll show. Uh, we'll at least take a little peek at them. So this is a. Uh, as I said, we have two flower rings. And we basically have them on a flip where 12 hours on, 12 hours off. So one room is on while the other one is off. So these guys, it's the night cycle for them. We'll let them get back to back to rest. I'm starting my second joint, and I've also All right. got to take a Perfect. sip of my and tea. I'm having some I know, tea. I've... Staying cool in this That's... humbled humidity. What is yeah. humidity? I'm from Colorado. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, you're lucky to not not know much about humidity. That's for sure. All right. So we'll cruise through. Um, I'm actually going to. Uh, I'm going to mask up because we're going to cruise through where everybody is. Actually, it's a good time because we uh, we're in the middle of bucking and trimming, so we can kind of check these guys out. Um, and these are some of the. <laughs> it's funny you talked about the classic strains because we did just throw in a couple new strains just for fun. So these strains actually are Gelato, um, Pineapple Express, which is a, a classic, uh, Wedding Cake, and Lilac Diesel. So uh, we do have a few new ones that we're just trying to to see how they look. So we'll but they do sound uh, we'll like some well vetted new ones. Um, oh, most some, definitely. We yeah, again, we, we can't Smart. we can't roll the dice. So we. Uh, we kind of have to give time for things to uh, to be vetted and and hopefully yeah. get them from people who have been vetted. So uh, luckily, we've been able to do that. Well, All right, yeah, I'll spin around and we'll go through. That sounds great. Go ahead, yeah, I'm sorry. let's check it out. All right, here we go. All right. Get my mask on. Safety first. Safety first, everybody. So we just... we. Normally, we're all packed into one room, but we have spread out for the social distancing reasons. So Kimberly is the lucky one that gets to be out here by herself hanging out. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. <laughs> and then our... You guys, I'm smoking weed in the middle Lee, of the facility right now. Hi. What's, what's that? I'm smoking weed in a licensed facility, technically, right? Yeah, technically. <laughs> well, let's not say technically, but uh, <laughs> close enough. Well, this is so as this close is our, as I'll get. <laughs> this is just me, and, me and you both. <laughs> so this is just our little uh, trim room and processing room, and it looks like our trimmer actually just bailed out, so we missed out on him. But uh, no and remind so me Kylie. Is. Hello. So this, this is Kylie. Hi. And she is also bucking up the gelato. Well, thank you for all of your work, Kimberly and Kylie. Shout out to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, uh, they hold it together. That, that's for sure. And so there's uh, we, we line dry everything, um, hang, you know, plants in pretty big pieces, and then uh, basically just uh, these have been hanging for several days. Then the girls will get them all bucked down and then the trimmers come in and, and work their magic and we'll kind of look uh, just our small very tiny and again we're a very small farm so it's probably the smallest the small, drying room the small the farm that's right but we just do uh, we line dry everything everything goes in totes um, as soon as possible, we uh, get these things put into, after they're trimmed, we'll get them put into vacuum sealed bags. So about 
three weeks after harvest, I would say they're at your facility, but they're in vacuum sealed bags. So we could definitely, I think the storage, uh, by the time you guys crack the bags, yeah. they're, they're well geared, you know, it's, uh, yeah. it was a little faster than I was used to sending things out. Um, oh, you know, 10 days after harvest, two weeks after harvest, but you know, it made sense by the time you guys receive it and it finally gets to the end consumer, you know, we're, we're definitely getting some cure time on all the products and I think it shows. And that's uh, that's props to you guys as well for making sure it's handled well and, and done well. Thank you. Well, we love working with you, Fred. I'm, I'm down through my joint. Did we make it through the whole facility? Through the whole grow? The I whole think garden? so. <laughs> well, we made it through all the, uh, the really important parts, I guess. We saw the three flower rooms. And so this is basically just our, um, you know, we have our reservoirs, little workspace. I'll flip around again. It might make it a little easier. And basically, you know, we're a very tiny mechanical room and storage space. Perfect. And you have just about seen love it all. It. I love it. <laughs> but Thank here's where so the magic. Much. One day we'll have this, this over here full and uh, then you'll have to come back and see us and hold us to our uh, small farm principles and make make sure we're our money putting our money where our mouth is for sure Thanks, Sarah. that's why we that's why we love having you as part of the willie's reserve family indeed thank you so much for being here with me and rolling two joints with me before i smoke two joints and then hanging out while i smoke two joints i love seeing you and soon someday we will see each other again in person I, I look forward to it, and thank you for having me. Thanks yeah, for letting me just, hang out while you roll and smoke two joints. Of course, and just so everybody, as a reminder, this is Fred from Southern Charm Organics. Follow Fred at Southern Charm Organics here on Instagram. We love you, uh, Southern Charm. Ryan Hunter even chimed in. Uh, yes, we love Southern Charm. Thank you so much for being one of our longest time partners well, here um, there in Colorado while I'm here in California. Um, yeah. It's just it's been really great working with you this whole time and it's been so awesome sharing this time with you. And I'm sure I will see you again yeah. soon. For sure. And thank you and thank you guys. Uh and also thank all the people that support Willie's and, and buy your product because it's the consumer making the, the choices of, of wanting high quality product that it makes this possible. So as long as consumers demand quality, then people like me will be here. So uh I think it's on all of us to, to make sure that happens, and, and we appreciate it. That's a great – I love that. If you demand quality, people like Fred get to, to get to keep growing the weed, right? That's so great. Awesome. <laughs> hey, not to put any pressure on you, but uh, – <laughs> No, it's good. The more the consumer knows, the better off we all are. Well, thank you so much. I'll for see sure. you soon. Thank Bye. you. Have a good one, Nicole. Thanks, everybody. Bye.